In today's video, we're gonna try making root beer using dry ice inside a pressurized container. Guys, I'm Nate. I'm Callie. I'm the Hacksmith. We've got the Hacksmith joining us for an experiment today, and uh, I think it's gonna be pretty fun. So Callie, what are we gonna be doing here? We want to make root beer, but we want to make a lot of it. We want to try and carbonate it with the dry ice, but we need a bigger container to do that. Well, why don't you guys use your old flamethrower? That is an excellent idea. Our flamethrower, if you haven't seen the build video, is actually made out of a CO2 tank. This is designed for holding carbon dioxide, and so while it's usually a bad idea to put dry ice in sealed containers, this one can handle it. The idea here is simple. We're gonna mix up a batch of root beer flavoring and sugar inside our flamethrower tank. We'll then add a lot of dry ice, seal it up, and hopefully it will both pressurize the tank and carbonate the root beer. All right, so before we start mixing up some root beer, why don't we do a quick test using water? Just to see how it's actually gonna react. This whole tank holds about three and a half gallons of liquid. I think we're gonna start off with about two, just to give some space in there. And I smash it with a hammer. We've got water in the tank, and as soon as the dry ice hits that water, it is gonna start building pressure. So there's a good chance that some of our dry ice is kind of gonna start getting like spit back out. So I'm gonna try and do it little bits at a time to minimize that. We'll see how this goes. Okay, we actually got quite a bit in there. Let's go for one more, and then we're gonna throw this in. We're gonna put this on with the valve open so all of the escaping pressure can come out because otherwise it builds up pressure so far that you can't thread it on all the way. All right, let's try this. Now it's on, close it off, and now hopefully it's building up pressure inside the tank. Oh boy, that's... This is not supposed to happen. What do you think, should we risk it? Just try it with the... Might as well. Try it with the root beer. Let's do it. All right, so to make the root beer, we're gonna start mixing the ingredients together, including two and a half cups of sugar. There's a lot of sugar in soda. All right, so now we're gonna use some root beer extract and we need two tablespoons for one gallon. Oh, like a pro. Look at that, not a drop wasted. <laughs> That's really strong too. I might have spilled too much into mine. Just how much of a mess is this about to make as soon as we start pouring the dry ice into it? Ready? So far so good. <laughs> You're right. I think we should give it just a minute to really build up some pressure and carbonate that root beer. All right, I think we need to do a test, see how well this thing is shooting. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Awesome. It's not bad. Wait, wait, wait. Don't aim at me. Aim where you were aiming before. I'm going to catch it. All right. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's aluminum root beer. <laughs> root beer foam. That's not bad. I would say it's slightly less carbonated than most root beer you're gonna get in a bottle, but it definitely is fizzy, definitely is foamy, and it's root beer, not bad. It, it does have a slight taste of the aluminum container that it's been sitting in. Bartender, <laughs> fill me up. Thank you, bartender. Thank, thank you, bartender. <laughs> All 
All right, I'm gonna shoot this straight up and see if I can at least get some into this cup. All right. Some, some. Hang on. <laughs> I've got a precision challenge for you. Rather than a, a mug, I just have a soda bottle. But we're gonna see if you can fill the soda bottle from like eight feet away. You're good. There. So when are we gonna put those ponchos on? <laughs> oh yeah, about that. About good that lady. poncho. <laughs> oh, that glove is now, look at this. When I make a fist and squeeze, root beer just drips out of my glove. It is completely soaked. <laughs> And now we've got a bottle with some root beer and a lot of root beer foam in it. I don't think you're going to get the whole yeah. word. <laughs> you can totally do it. You can totally do it. You ah. did it! Uh, we've, uh, we've got all the ingredients and supplies to do that a couple more times. Let's make some more. Yeah. All right. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> the bottom of our tank is frozen. Oh no. I wonder if that means the hose is frozen. Only one way to find out. Now when Grant invited me down here, I had no idea I'd get to uh, shoot at both uh, Nate and Callie, so I'm pretty excited. Let's see how this goes. Ah, door through! Now you can protect oh, yourself. No. Three, two. <laughs> this is actually frozen to the board. This is it's ice slush. Water. He is he's shooting me with slush. All right, I say let's do another batch. That had a lot more power. Yeah. But it gave us a lot of issues. Yeah, with the freezing at the bottom. And we didn't get a nice stream of root beer. We got like a hard spray. And we had the same problem with this thing when we would use the CO2 in the normal fuel as a flamethrower is that with too much pressure, it tends to just vaporize a little bit on contact with air. So I think we should go back to the other method, root beer first, then the dry ice. Maybe we can have a shooting competition to see who can fill a mug fastest. It's time for a little friendly competition. We've got three mugs over there and we're gonna see who can fill a mug the most in 10 seconds. So we'll each take 10 seconds and see who can fill their mug most. Three, two, two one, 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 10, ten nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven <laughs> six, five, five, four, three, two, two one. one. You actually got some in there. I definitely went to 11 I'm seconds counting. too. Three, two, two one, one, 10. ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cut, extra second. I don't think I got any guys, it's all right. I think, a little bit. not much, but to I think fair, some. To be fair, that's the first time I have ever shot that, so. All right, now we've got the expert who's already been doing this. No pressure. All right, <laughs> three, two, two one, one, 10, ten nine, nine, eight, eight Seven, Seven. Oh, six, five, five, four, three, three two, two. I think he gets a few more extra seconds now. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, well, oh. we beat him. <laughs> Let's check this out. Let's see how we do. Guys, did. we're all terrible. <laughs> that looks pretty empty to me. <laughs> There's a drip. I got maybe a tablespoon. Yeah. Yeah, we got, we got two drips each. Uh, that, Nate's the clear winner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, almost a quarter of a swallow. Thanks to James for being in this channel. James, tell us a little bit about Hacksmith. What do you guys do? Uh, our series is called Make It Real, where we take fictional ideas from comics, movies, and video games, and we try and make real working versions in real life. 
there's a good chance if you guys are a fan of our type of videos, you've already seen some of his videos, and if not, you absolutely should go check him out as soon as possible. It's amazing. Guys, that's it for today, but you know the fun doesn't end here. We've always got more for you to see. That box up at the top will take you directly to our last video. You should go check that out. The other box will show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. And if you hit this bomb in the middle, you'll be subscribed to the channel. That way you'll never miss out on the fun. Don't forget to ring that bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.